Dactylorhiza is in full flower and this bed, this is the the bed of the smaller spring plants and it's really quite lush if any of you remember it from early on Corydalis, Aranthus, Snowdrops, Crocus, Erythroniums and, and now look at it, it's like a jungle actually we will need to do some work on this bed it's, we've been threatening it for a few years but serious work, let's go buy lots of nice seed heads on the Mechanopsis but you can see the orchids starting to get lost in there there's plenty of other things, the ov ovularia down here is getting it's definitely needing split and irisemas everywhere coming up through so there's masses of stuff in here, it really is so there's a darker darker orchids up there paler ones down here all these are self-seeded, I, I quite like this combination the Campanula with the Tropiolum growing up through it that's really quite something a nice one of these things that happen in a garden, you don't plan it it just happens so lots of the Corydalis going over around here, one of my metal sculptures that I made in the what was it, be the probably the the late 70s or early 80s more likely some more orchids I'm coming around here to this group here there's one of the a nice white one they're really good aren't they the white this is of course the white is Eskimo Nell I need to do a bit more work on that again I, I built up a lot and distributed an awful lot but kind of neglected building my own back up so I'll, I'll work on that I'll show you how I lift and divide them later in the season as the flowers start to go over but if we come round here I mean just look at the look at the length of that inflorescence it's massive you put hand span it it really is huge so these are the ones we call Craigs and Spire and we're round at the back of the the other group there's interesting, here's Tropiolum speciosum climbing up through this wee vaccinium we really can't allow that to happen because on these we've discovered on the dwarf smaller ericaceous rhododendrons and vacciniums the Tropiolum can kill it in a matter of weeks if you allow it to take over and form a canopy excluding the light so around there lots more orchids there more up there just look across the wider garden it's Acer leaves looking rather rather weather beaten and battered I'm not surprised we all are the weather we've been having another group of orchids we're headed to over here with the Salmizia another group we probably should be lifting and splitting if we get round to that this year as well and spread them around a bit but they just are who wouldn't want that to rise in the garden so these are all the self-seeded garden hybrids little Molly what are you finding? taller one here, some of the smaller ones these are going over, these are more like the Dactylorhiza fuchsi, the, the native one and so that's just where we're using the orchids at the moment, there's plenty wherever I go in the garden they're all over the place <laughs>